Hey there, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be all about body oils, body creams, body lotions, just general body moisturizers that I have been using. I have quite a, an accumulation I've noticed in my bathroom that I have been rotating through. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna talk about them today. Definitely getting into colder weather, so I thought this would be like an appropriate time to talk about this, but I have dry skin in general, especially on my body, so I am using moisturizers on there all year round, and I do get rather like itchy, kind of like eczema-prone skin, particularly on my legs, so I'm always moisturizing at night for sure on them, so I don't, I don't scratch them to death in the middle of the night. So um, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna talk about all of them. So here we go. I'm gonna start out talking about body creams and body lotions. The first one is this guy from Lip Botanical. It is the Oceana body cream. This one is based in shea butter and coconut oil. It also has calendula infused apricot oil. So calendula is like very soothing and very healing and so is apricot oil so this is like a very rich cream it has kind of a dense looking consistency but it really melts into the skin and it has such a, an absolutely beautiful scent just opening this it smells really really expensive and luxurious i believe it is scented with lime neroli bergamot and lavender so it has this like floral citrus kind of mix almost like a really really well balanced cocktail not in like an alcohol anyway smelling but just when you get like a really beautifully aromatic cocktail that has the the both of the floral sort of aromatic notes as well as something very citrusy to offset it to offset it to offset it so i really love this this one it is pretty intensely scented but not so much that it permeates throughout the entire day it just leaves something really nice that you'll like catch throughout the day so i generally use this one during the day uh, and kind of more like a special occasion sort of moment if i'm doing a more full kind of ritualistic type of pampery skin session. So next up, this is the Iuna body cream. This was the sidekick in the August Beauty Heroes box. Iuna was actually the first box that I got in Beauty Heroes. It's the reason why I signed up because it's a brand that I've just been super curious about. They are an extremely luxury priced green beauty brand that does a lot of stuff with like uh, probiotics or prebiotics and like stem cell they really are doing a lot with like green beauty in terms of chemistry that has really intrigued me over the years so that's why I like finally signed up for the box was when this was in there I think the full size of this body cream runs around a hundred dollars most of their stuff is upwards of two hundred dollars so just insanely priced so when I saw it was the August Beauty Hero box I like I took I took advantage so I could you know uh, <laughs> uh, indulge that curiosity now, Iuna is a green beauty brand that also uses a lot of very like green beauty sort of research and newer ingredients. A lot of Iuna stuff, including this guy, has the, I think it's noni fruit stem cells. They're prebiotic and they really help with like bacterial and fungal and different things that can cause breakouts. So I have just recently started using this in a more targeted way i am prone to fungal breakouts on my back and on my on my shoulder that's the word so i've started using that there and i have seen an improvement i will get back on that so this also has shea butter it's got coconut oil it also has calendula in it as well as jojoba which is something that you see a lot in body moistures as long with like coconut and um and shea butter they seem to be like usually at the base of a lot of moisturizers but jojoba is always good because it's very similar in terms of like the composition of our skin in terms of sebum so this guy has that in there as well this has a rather very thin texture compared to something like this this cream which is definitely more thick this is definitely more of a lotion style texture it absorbs really quickly and it has a very interesting scent that i think can be very like 
polarizing to some people. To me, it kind of smells like an underripe stone fruit, kind of like uh, a really brand new like nectarine, kind of tangy, a little bit green, earthy kind of scent to it and a little bit like mineral-esque. So this is the newest moisturizer I've been testing out. This is the Soleil de Janeiro Bum Bum or Boom Boom Cream. I guess that's how it's pronounced in Portuguese. This was gifted to me from Soleil de Janeiro via Octoly to test out. I've been very like curious about this product because it is so overly hyped in a way it's talked about a lot so i kind of wanted to see what the hype was about it is an extremely dense cream lotion guy let me open it up and you only need just the tiniest bit it's definitely a really dense thick cream and a, like a little bit goes a long way as you can see and it has this stuff in it called i think Guarana seed extract which is really high in caffeine so it's supposed to help with like blood flow and and like depuffing and like circulation just like how caffeine is often used in different eye serums to kind of help with depuffing and it does have coconut oil in it as well as like acai berry i think it has squalene that's a pretty long ingredients list the only thing is the scent is not necessarily for me it said that it is like pistachio kind of caramel scented but to me this reads like a very strong vanilla which unfortunately just vanilla and i aren't really aren't really uh good friends in terms of fragrance and this is something that like permeates everything so if you were to put this on and then anything you wear whether it's pajamas or jeans or anything it will end up smelling like this uh until you wash it so that is the downside is the intensity of the fragrance for this guy so it's not something that i've actually gotten as much use out of as as i would like so i'm a big fan of the body hero duo it's something that i have repurchased from glossier so this is a brand new tube of the daily perfecting cream i really loved the campaign the very body positive campaign when this came out i think it came out around this time last year this is a really lovely moisturizer. It actually has some mica in it, so it has a bit of a sparkly reflect. It's not intense in any way, but it does kind of give like a blurring effect to it. So it's not really something that I use at night. Definitely something I use more when I'm like gonna, you know, be purposeful <laughs> with shirts or skirts or anything like that. And I'm gonna be showing, showing some skin. It does actually have prickly pear seed in it as well as yucca extract. They call it like the desert essence blend because it also has cactus flower extract. So it's like those three things together. In addition to the fact that it has uh, added mica for a glow, this also has some AHAs in it. So it does give like a bit of exfoliation to the skin, to, to your body. So it's gonna kind of like help with a continuous glow. So it's kind of nice to use after shaving, like in conjunction with the oil moisturizer body moisturizer because that guy's really good for shaving. This also has a neroli scent to it. It's very light. It's not anything too intense, but I love more like citrus leaning scents. So I'm, I'm happy that this has neroli. It's not as neroli scented as I feel like the the body oil is, but it's still really nice. So next up is the Ment, the Absolute Balm. This is a balm to oil. So it starts out a really kind of thick, waxy balm. Then as you work it in, it kind of turns more into an oil. This is meant to be used all over the body, but I just use this on, on my legs, on, on my arms, but mainly on my legs. It is a little bit too heavy for my hair or my face, but it is absolutely wonderful on the legs, especially when you have like a little bit more like sensitivity there. If I've like cut myself, maybe shaving, or it's like extra dry and itchy, this has been really great. It has like, a scent profile of sandalwood and grapefruit. The sandalwood is very light uh, and the grapefruit, it's light as well, but it's definitely a little bit more forefront. So it has a really lovely scent profile. This has a blend of Nolotica shea butter, coconut oil, as well as argon oil. Nolotica, I read, is one of like the better, like the best of the shea butters, like the high, the high end version of the shea butter. So it's a very antioxidant, rich formula so very healing 
very very soothing this is something i definitely apply to slightly damp skin that way it absorbs faster if i was to put this over just like completely dry skin uh like i hadn't just like taken a shower or anything it would kind of sit on top so it's one of those moisturizers that's best applied just like right as you're like getting out of the shower and you still have like damp skin so this is the Daughter of the Land Deep Moisture Face and Body Oil. This one is the sage and grass centered one. They have a few different scent profiles, but I really love that they have this sage one. It's really light. It's not an overly powerful. This is a really fast absorbing oil and it's an oil that has become one of like my most reached for for like at night or just any time of the day because it is really quick absorbing and very moisturizing. It leaves a really nice kind of sheen to the skin. It's not greasy in any way. Um, and it just like, it kind of gives like almost like a nice reflect, even though it doesn't have any kind of illuminating particles or anything in it. It's got a pretty simple ingredients list. It is avocado oil based and it also has coconut and apricot oil and then the added essential oils like peppermint and sage for the smell. This company is really good about being very environmentally conscious with their packaging uh, and they use I think mainly, if not all, uh, organic materials. This is the Olive and M Shimmering Glow Body Oil. This was actually in a favorites video a little while back. I was using this quite a bit when I first got it because it was still really warm out. So this is a shimmering uh, body oil that is based in olive as all Olive and M body products are. So it absorbs pretty fast because it is olive oil, which is often where we get a lot of squalling products. So it has a very similar composition for the skin. So absorbs really fast, lays really well. This is scented pretty heavily, but it's quite nice. It's like a musky jasmine and it does have the added mica, which because I haven't been using this as much recently, it's really settled at the bottom. So it uh, definitely needs like a shake up to distribute, but it is a really beautiful luminous glow that it gives the skin. Definitely heavier in terms of glow than comparative to something like the Glossier Body Hero. This will kind of rub off on anything that you're wearing and you will see it. It's not chunky, but it will kind of just give like a general shimmer to anything that you, you are wearing. But it's not anything that I feel like is gonna damage your clothes or anything or be like obtrusive, like glitter or anything that you'll find everywhere, but just a really beautiful kind of warm glow that it gives the skin. So this is definitely the simplest out of all of the uh, moisturizers that I'm sharing and that is the True Moringa Pure Moringa Oil. I have here, this is like the larger size that is just the Pure Moringa seed and then I also have this one that has lavender infused. So they have a few that are different scent profiles added to, I think there's peppermint, um, but I actually really love the scent of regular Moringa oil. It's very earthy s smelling. It's not necessarily savory, it's just a nice, earthy musk. It doesn't linger in any way. It's really simple, very unobtrusive kind of scent. Moringa oil is really, really high in antioxidants and it has a lot of essential fatty acids. This oil is like a nice, beautiful kind of rich looking golden color. So it's another one of those like multi-purpose type of oils. So you can use it on your face, on your hair, on your body. I've tried it on my hair. It again is a little bit too heavy for my hair, but it's really lovely on the face and the body. It can take a little bit of working into the skin. So I definitely prefer to use it uh, as like a, a moisturizer, as an oil and putting on an already damp skin. That way I can really get it to like work into the skin. And last but not least, this is the Trader Joe's Lemongrass and Coconut Body Oil. This is like my second or third one of these oils. It uses a mix of coconut, olive oil, and sweet almond oil. And then it is pretty heavily scented, but it's one of those scents that I really like. It is very lemongrass kind of focus scented so you might love it you might hate it i don't find that it necessarily is a scent that lingers like the um like the live botanical scent i have to be in the mood for this because it will linger for a really long time the way that this smells it it won't necessarily last for the entire day unless i like put my like my nose straight up there this actually absorbs 
really fast and is quite lightweight. I don't find it to be greasy at all. And it is something that I'll use pretty much all the time. I'll use it at night, I'll use it in the morning. It has such a great price point. I think it's like $3.99 or something like that. So it's something that I will use quite frequently and quite liberally because um, it's, it's so reasonably priced. So I'm not too precious with it. Like I can be on like more, <laughs> more expensive things that I try and use like a more targeted fashion. All right. I hope this video was helpful, interesting, fun. If you did enjoy it, please give it uh, please give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to know if there are any kind of go-to body moisturizers or oils out there that you really love. I really love the one from Fresh, the Seaberry Moisturizer. I used to buy that one quite often. It's definitely a higher priced moisturizer, but it's really lovely. And I also really like the Whole Foods brand, just regular pump moisturizer. That one's a really good, just like basic every day. But I'd love to know if there's like any, especially like specialty ones that you that you really like i've always had my eye on the one from i think it's one love they have that that body oil and then kipris has that neroli body oil they look so lovely but they're a little bit pricey so if you tried either of those particularly i'd love to know if they're if they're good anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you are new and uh liked this uh, subscribe that would be really cool and i'll i'll see you guys in the next one bye